International Women's Day 2016, I'm Susan Lejeune d'Algazek, British Ambassador to the United Nations in Vienna and to Austria. We had an event in the Embassy last year at which young women came to receive mentoring advice from a number of my female colleagues. And at that point I thought about who had been influential to me as I decided on a career and then pursued it. And there were two people who came to mind, one of whom I know very well and one of whom I don't know at all. At the first was my aunt, my father's twin sister, who went to the same school as I did, it was obviously of a different generation from me, and uh, at a time when there were very few women journalists, my aunt became a very successful journalist in Australia and ended up being the European correspondent for one of the main Australian daily newspapers. It was very much, in those days, a man's world, and she succeeded uh, because she is very talented um, and managed to combine that with having a family, uh, and bringing up two daughters. So uh, she, for me personally, was somebody who really inspired me to believe that it was possible for a woman to do any sort of profession. Um, and I'm really pleased to have had that model in my own family. The second person uh, is Her Majesty the Queen, who celebrates her 90th birthday this year. I've had the privilege of meeting her a couple of times. And what I think is astonishing is that she didn't choose her profession, obviously but that she has dedicated her life to the service of the United Kingdom and has been a dignified and very impressive and inspiring leader for the country and has done it in a way which is not about personal glory but is about doing what's right um, and uh, having integrity and standing up for a set of values which to me uh, define what the United Kingdom is all about. Those are my two role models. There are hundreds more I could talk about. But I think on International Women's Day, it's really important to think about all the women who haven't had the chances I have had and women in the United Kingdom don't have today and think about the ways in which we can extend a helping hand to women all over the world to make sure that they have the opportunities to use their full potential in countries where at the moment that's not possible.